friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today with another scrapbooking process video. Today's share is for Coco Vanilla Studio and I'm doing another Christmas layout. This one using their brand new Joyful Collection. I have something a bit different. I have three photos that I'd like to document for this layout. And I do have a plan actually. I want to go ahead and create a grid style layout. And I thought the easiest way to do that would be to make the use of these pocket cards. So yeah, I'm gonna make a, a little bit of a grid featuring these lovely pocket cards for this one. And I'm going to pop them onto this neutral background. I have done what I would normally do and created a frame for the layout as well. The frame is a stripe and it is from the pattern paper Holly Days, which I actually used in my very first layout that I've created with this collection. So two from two, I've used that pattern paper. One, the first layout with the A side and then this layout using up the B side. And here are my pocket cards. So I realize at this point that my photos are ever so slightly too long for the pocket cards. So I do give them a trim and I end up with six different pocket card designs and they're gonna make up the grid pretty much as you see it here. It's also at this point that I would like a, a few more layers. I do love paper layers in my scrapbooking. So I am going to matte each of the photos and I'm going to use that same stripe paper that I use for the edge of the layout. I do that quite a lot as well. I use the same pattern paper as the edge I use in my photo mat. And I just find that by doing that, it kind of pulls everything together without me trying too hard. It just, I don't know, I guess the eye just realizes that there's some matchiness there. Is that a word, matchiness? Um, anyway, I like it. That's what I tend to do. It's a bit of a go-to for me. I have also added in some stitching. So I've stitched around the edge and I've stitched around each of my photos here and gluing all of that down. You will have noticed that I did take my time and measured uh, with a grid design. It's really important that everything is nice and straight and that you do measure your distances from the edges of your pattern paper. If it's out with a grid design, you can tell. There's not really a lot of wiggle room. So it's important to just take a breath and, and take your time and make sure that everything is lovely, lined up nice and straight before you lock everything into position. Okay, so the bones of the layout are certainly in place. I know that I want to use this title piece, which is from the chipboard uh, sticker sheet. It's quite large. So I'm keen to get that locked into position very early before I start placing any of my other embellishments. I'm going to center it between the two photos on the left there. And then I'm just going to nestle the word joy and a little uh, round epoxy, but epoxy button. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna nestle those in together so that they fit together a bit like a puzzle. And I really love how that looks. So they end up staying there. The sweet little bunny is from the die cut ephemera pack and I have popped her up on some 3D foam tape. And these floral elements, they are actually fussy cut pieces from the Tis the Season pattern paper. In my last layout, I went ahead and fussy cut out a bunch of the florals and these were ones that I hadn't used on that page. So it was nice to add them to this one. I'm adding a real mix of embellishments here. I've got elements from the chipboard sheet, uh, that deer that's in the top right hand corner, it's a chipboard piece. Obviously my title is a chipboard piece. I've got little uh, die cuts from the die cut pack, including the little tab at the top there that says moments, no memories, memories. Uh, yeah, lots of bits and pieces all mixing and matching together to create little embellishment clusters. Things are getting serious because I am gluing stuff down. Super happy with how this is all looking. Sometimes grid designs can be a little bit tricky to embellish because for this one, I was trying to treat each grid as its own separate little embellishment cluster. 
but of course because they're all side by side they all need to work together as well so it is a bit of a balancing act and I find that overlapping pieces like the florals and the title actually as I place it they are the pieces that help it all come together if there were no overlapping elements it would still look very blocky all of the pieces would look fine but they wouldn't feel connected to each other I have often said that I like my uh, embellishments touching each other I like things overlapping I like that in a cluster there's a connection between elements and I think for a grid design this is a really good way to achieve that for this layout too I was super careful not to extend the embellishments too far past my blocks I do have a couple of tabs but they're balanced out so the one at the top there is balanced out by one on the left hand edge and then I've also balanced that out by adding just the little the banner piece that says fa la 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 on the right it extends ever so slightly across the edge so that sort of creates uh, th a three points around the page I do think about yeah the placement of all of these little details oh yes I do end up switching out that little tab both of these tabs are from the accessory sticker sheet and I found that that other one was just a little bit long and I think it wasn't quite the right green I think I was being a bit fussy there switched it out I am going to add in an epoxy button just the one I think no two so the one down near joy and then the top one uh, up there oh no three oh silly me three uh, and then that's going to call this layout done thanks so much for being here my creative friends if you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up close up images are on their way and I'll see you all in the next video until then bye